Namaste. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your weekly reading for career, money, finances, your bank balance. Well, you know what? I know that love makes the world go around. That's why I do a love reading, <laughs> relationship reading every week. But what puts food on the table? Yeah, what pays our bills? Of course, money, you know, career prospects. So I'm going to be doing, I have all. I've always been doing one career reading every single week for everybody. One relationship reading. Otherwise, I post mini three card readings every single day, my friends, with messages for you and all the zodiac sign readings every single month. So I insist that you go and check out the videos <clears throat> on my channel. Now, having said that, I just want you to know that I'm reading for the collective. Everything is not going to resonate with you. It's not possible. But if it does, you claim it 100%. Now, I'm going to give you message, 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 message. One after the other, back to back. I'll clarify the cards if I need to. You take what's yours and leave the rest. I just want to give you a heads up on the energy which is coming in or this could be playing out for some of you. Depends on where you are on your timeline, all right? So I want to first start with the general energy. For career, money, financial opportunities, for whoever is watching this, whenever you come across, this is the right time for you because this reading, my friends, is timeless. Let's go. Career, money, job opportunities. For whoever is watching this, for, you know, one more card. Thank you. Okay. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo now. Virgo is the sixth house. It is about your health. It is about work. That's exactly what this reading is about. You are good enough. If you are feeling like people are minimizing you at your workplace, okay? If they're making you feel lesser than, I am here to tell you that you are good enough. And the universe concurs, okay? I, I, I have a feeling that somebody here is made to feel like they're lesser than or they don't deserve something. I don't know why I feel that. On the other hand, the Virgo energy could also be about you going within and finding your answers. It is also the ability to show the light to others. If you felt the need to go and approach somebody who could give you guidance, please do it. And, you know, if there is anything of your health that you've been ignoring, this is also telling you to do that. This is also the card of spying. Because see, the Virgo energy likes to go to the bottom of stuff. They're the Nancy Drews of the Zodiac. I don't know if somebody is trying to get under your skin or if somebody is trying to be very nitpicky with you. I'm giving you a message of some boss of yours who's making, you know, who's irritated your soul. Just watch that reading if you want to on my channel. But in that message, I got that they're leaving. So do not worry. But you are good enough. Don't allow somebody else to put a price tag on you. Okay. You are very close to achieving your goal. Super. First of all, I think somebody here is trying to minimize you or make you feel lesser than because they know you're going to succeed. And there could be jealousy here. And I want to put this out there for you. You are very close to achieving your goal. You stay on your track, okay? Whatever that goal is. Could even be a health goal. You are on the right track. Do not allow people to make you feel that you're not going to get something. You are. Now, nothing is set in stone now when this card comes out it tells me that the energy is very dicey it's 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 shaky are you on shaky ground you know i, I think somebody is trying to uh, rile you up at your workplace they're making you feel not good enough like you're not going to do this it's not going to work they try to manifest crap for you it's not set in stone you don't set it now don't believe it and if they're trying to give you some some bs it is not true Look, I want to give you a clear message, okay? If you are someone who's dealing with a colleague or somebody who's trying to give you some spiel about, you know what, this could, this may not work for you because, you know, you don't match up. There's something going on like this. I need you to know, do not trust them. It is not set in stone, okay? You are good enough. And they are playing with a part of your psyche that they know triggers you. Don't give them that satisfaction. Maybe they know that this is something that makes you feel stressed. You know, when, when you are challenged with your ability to create or to do something, keep using it, all right? 
Now, don't trust them. Nothing is set in stone. In fact, you are very close to achieving your goal and I'm here to give you a heads up on that. Now, let's move on. And I want to take my chakra. Balancing deck. This will also tell me where the imbalances are, where the blocks are, okay? For your money, job opportunities. Growing your bank balance. What is obstructing? What needs to be released or balanced? Yeah. Career, money. Thank you. Job opportunities. Complacency. Muladhara. This is the root of the problem, by the way. Is that you're too chilled. Yeah. This is somebody sitting down, relaxing. And look, I, I, I also feel that somebody here, perhaps another message could be you need to let something fall away. Because this is the season. But nothing can stop the growth from happening. But for the majority of you, I am talking to somebody who is extremely complacent. They're very happy sitting down there. Though this is the root of the problem. Look, if you are being given the guidance from somebody you trust, okay, I do not know which career you are in. That hey, you know what? Can you do this course? Can you update your bio? Can you make your resume more attractive for people who want to hire you? Do it. You're being too complacent. And the muladhara for me always, you know, the root. It's what holds you. It's very. Uh, it's it's like earth energy. It's what grounds you. And for me, earth energy, the loudest is Capricorn because it's the 10th house and is ruled by Saturn. Now, you perhaps are sabotaging your own career by being too complacent. Okay? You have this position where you're seated. Perhaps you have a position of authority because the Capricorn is the elder. But you're being too, you, you think you're too good for others. I don't know who this is for. You have to update yourself. You have to keep up with the times. There's something like that here. And because this is your Muladhara, it is Capricorn. It is Saturnian. It's the 10th house. It's the house of Korea. Can you start to wear colors which are red? Engage with this. Eat more root vegetables. And honestly, the root of the problem is that you're too chilled. You need to move. Get up and do something. Create movement. Okay? And, you know, money is the root of I'm not saying health and wealth and happiness. No, but it is definitely something which is needed. And if you are someone who's experiencing problems, perhaps you are too complacent. Okay? Bittersweet. Hmm. You know, I told you something here could be ending for someone. But it's that season. Do not worry. I know it's bittersweet. Maybe you're receiving communication that something is ending. Because this, by the way, is somebody who is celebrating their birthday, but they know they're growing older. But then, but it's bittersweet because you're also getting wiser. I think somebody is going to be receiving some communication that they need to, you know, leave or retire. But I'm telling you, it's nothing. It's do not think that is going to lead to you sitting on this couch. You are going to be celebrating the birth of something new and you're going to receive that communication. I know that you feel it's bittersweet. I think this is another message for somebody. Listen, miracle. Okay, I'll tell you the loudest message I get here. So with this, it's your Vishuddha. Beautiful color blue. Okay. Somebody is receiving communication. Okay, that perhaps, you know, they may need to uh, vacate or they may need to go from a job or leave. It's it's actually this. It's a miracle. It's your solar plexus. It's your manikura. It's the sun energy. It's Leo. I'll give you a message here. You may think you are being asked to retire because of your age. It may be bittersweet where you're growing older, but you're also being asked to leave. It's going to be the exact opposite. You are going to be given a position of even more power because the sun energy is Leo. It's about the king. You're going to be crowned. I'm telling you. And I have a feeling that somebody here sitting on this chair, okay, may not even move. And everything is falling down right now. But they're going to be sitting there when it starts to grow as well. And the Leo energy of this miracle, you're going to experience a miracle. A miracle at your workplace. Okay, where you thought you, you're, you're being let go, you're going to become the boss. The boss. And this is fifth house energy, Leo. 
It is about your creative projects. It is about things which are close to your heart. It is about things that make your chest puff up with pride. There's somebody here who is going to think that, oh my God, this bittersweet ending is happening. You're going to have a miracle. You're going to be put in a position of even more power than what you had before. Now, let's shift gears. Love this message for you. Let me know when this plays out. It would make me very happy. I want to take some messages from my Kipper deck. Let's see what this deck wants to tell you, my friends. Oi. Ha. You know what the first card is? Occupation. I'm talking to somebody who's extremely hard working, could be working with your hands. You know, you could be creating stuff. You could be a designer. I don't know. You do make pottery. You make ceramics. You write anything with your hands. Cook. You are being highlighted here. Some of you could be moving. This is a chariot energy cancer. It's a fourth house. Okay. Um, you could be on the cusp with a cancer. This is. Why did I say that? I don't know. Okay. Now, this is about movement. It's, it's like the chariot, trains, planes, and automobiles. Maybe some of you are buying a brand new car, moving to a brand new home, which is way more plush. And you know, somebody is very happily moving here. There is some kind of a movement. And I'm setting intention that there's some kind of a shift or a move in your career. Because when the chariot energy comes out, it's about, it's not stuck energy. It's in motion. So if you felt that there's been some kind of a stuck energy in your finances, in your job opportunities, there's going to be tremendous movement. But it may require you to move. And on the other hand, some of you are buying a brand new home or a better car. Listen, theft. This is one energy I do not like, and I'm going to be clarifying this card. As you can see, somebody is stealing something very precious from someone in broad daylight, and there's somebody else laughing. Okay, if you have something that you are creating at your workplace, which is your baby, you know, it's your project, I need you to be careful. It could be somebody junior who's trying to steal it from you, but there's somebody behind them. It's like somebody's trying to shoot the gun, keeping it on somebody else's shoulder. We just take care of your intellectual properties and your um your projects or your anything with work, which is you have created with your own hands, Okay. Then have the card of preoccupation and occupation. There's somebody who's preoccupied. Listen, this is a card of stress, worrying, but this is unnecessary worrying. You don't have clarity. So if some of you are in a situation where you do not have clarity, do not make a hasty decision because this is about consciously co-creating doom and gloom. Nothing is set in stone. Remember that message? Do not create it. Now, someone is buying a brand new home or they're beautifying their home. Excellent energy, the salon. You know, this is the card of the most private space in your home. The way you can let your hair down, relax. For me, this is also the boardroom of the meeting, you know, where you have your meetings at your workplace. This is also about secrets being revealed. So you need to watch out for some kind of hidden secrets going on at your workplace. I'll tell you the cards that I want to clarify now, my friends. The first card that I want to clarify is the theft. Let's see what that's about. So I can give you another layer of a message. Ah, King of Wands, fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, arrogant. There's a lot of Leo energy here, by the way. Okay, very arrogant. This is a go-to person. This is somebody who's a good communicator. The charisma is off the charts. Extremely arrogant. And, you know, it's like my way or the highway sometimes because this person believes that they know everything. They have a lot of fa fashion, passion, a lot of drive, a lot of fire. I don't know if this person is going to have something stolen from them or they are masterminding that. Another card on this individual or on this energy of theft. Um, if you are a fire sign, okay, you need to watch out that somebody could be stealing from you. My God, I have the devil. 
Capricorn energy, 10th house. Yeah, it is about work. I know that. Listen. I will show you something, my friends. You see this child stealing this chain? The devil has somebody chained here. This is for work. I don't know if this devil is a boss, is an older person, because the Capricorn energy is a sign of the elder. It's somebody who's older. It's also about authority. You know, I wonder if there's someone here who's trying to steal from you. It's a big organization, a big, you know, something which is which is blue tape and red tape. You can't even, you don't even know who you're dealing with. But they're trying to steal something from you. You need to be careful. And there is another individual involved here. I don't know if this is your immediate boss, but they have somebody way above them who's who's helping, who's masterminding this. And the devil energy is is some kind of restriction. They're not allowing you the freedom. They're constricting you. They're making you do the work just like Saturn does. But they're stealing from you. Uh, do you feel that you are at a workplace where they are sucking the life out of you? Okay. But you seem to be stuck. But there is somebody else who's pulling the strings. You do not know that. I'm taking one more card. You know, but when Saturn gives you, it's permanent. Okay. So I want you to focus on that energy. There's a flip side to every energy. There's a higher and a lower vibration. Okay, the lower vibration is playing out right now. That doesn't mean that the high vibration is not there. It's there. And you can flip the energy at any given point. Okay, this is some kind of a tug of war. Listen, some of you are having fights or conflicts with a higher authority. Or what you do not know is that there is competition at your workplace. And I think somebody is trying to steal an opportunity from you. But which is the, that there's a hand behind them guiding them to do that. I just want to give you a heads up. If you are experiencing strife, there are more people vying for the same thing you want. There is some kind of a competitive energy that is going on in a very subtle way. But there is somebody else blessing that. I don't know how else to put it. So watch out for that. You have competition. And this competition could be somebody who's way higher than your, you know, your uh, jurisdiction, as in a very higher authority who's blessing this, that, yeah, let there be conflict and strife. They try to steal something from you. I don't know what it is. There's a push and a pull going on. Take one more card, okay? And five is always a number of imbalance. In any reading, the emperor, I told you, there is somebody who is way higher up than your pay scale, who is pulling the strings and they're causing this. Because if you are showing up as a king, this is the emperor. They are definitely, you know, wanting to steal something from you. And I, I don't know why I feel they have hired somebody very junior to do that. So you are not doubting them, but this is a real person behind it. It's somebody who's arrogant, somebody who's older, somebody who's a boss, who's a CEO. They have tremendous power. Very arrogant again. Is there a battle of wits going on here between two people? Because a king of wands is also arrogant. This is the, don't ask how much. There's something going on, a push and a pull. It's like a battle, you know, of the wits. There's one person who's lower in rank here. Listen, you're butting heads with the emperor. Okay, and this is the ram. They love to butt heads. You're, you're dealing with somebody who's creating conflicts on purpose because they love it. They thrive on it. Just give them the satisfaction, yeah? Don't. And if they're stealing something from you, because the, the devil energy has come out here, the karma has to be delivered. One way or the other. And you know, with that card of complacency, if they're trying to steal something from you, they do not know that once they do that, you may feel things are falling apart. But you're going to be sitting on that throne and you will become the emperor. I'm giving you a guarantee and a heads up on that. Now, but there's somebody here who is, you know, a blessing this conflict. Like, yes, create the conflict. They are pulling the strings from behind. But they want some kind of a competition and there is something about stealing, I don't know what, from you. Whether it's a work project, whether it's some of your ideas, just take note of that. Now, I want to take some cards from my Life Purpose Oracle deck to you. 
see what this deck wants to tell you. Any conflict that you're going through is generated. It's not organically happening. Somebody is creating this competition here. You are good enough. Freedom. You are free to do what you choose. Excellent. Some of you are going to get financial freedom. If you've been working under someone who's treated you like a bonded laborer, you're going to get the freedom. I don't know if you're going to get this huge money or grant coming your way. Good. You're going to get the freedom to choose your profession, to choose the times you work, to choose who you hire, and to choose how you run your business. Congratulations. Strength. Strength. It's the car of Leo, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of Leo energy. Again, I do not know. And I almost said it, you could be on the cusp. You know, I was assuming cusp of cancer. I was assuming you're a Leo. I don't know who I'm talking to. Okay, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This is about the heart energy. The Leo energy is the fifth house. It's about your creative projects. It's about things which you consider to be yours. And somebody has fought for something that they want to create with all their heart and might. And it's made you stronger. But you've had a lot of setbacks. And you've dealt with somebody who has been outright sneaky. You're getting freedom from them. Okay. And all these things that you've gone through, you know, it's your resume of experience. It's very, very valuable and very weighty. It has a lot of weight and it's taught you something. And I'm giving you a guarantee. You're going to be sitting on that chair and you are going to be crowned as the boss and the emperor. And it's something that you have created for yourself. Now, animals. I don't know if you are somebody who's a veterinarian or you work with animals or you are somebody who's very passionate or you're somebody who takes care of the environment and believes that you know animals along with us are first class citizens of the planet. That's me. I believe in that. You are being highlighted here. Now, for some of you, uh, if you've thought about getting a pet, do it. Or if you've thought of going to a shelter and taking care of animals, it could create some kind of a shift that brings in a lot of abundance for you. My goodness. Now, it also talks about communicating with them. Look, I don't know who you are, the dog whisperer. <laughs> Whatever it is, you are being highlighted here. Now, I just want to tell you one more thing. If you've thought of going and volunteering with animals, do it. You know, it could cause some kind of a beautiful shift in your money flow, abundance and opportunity flow. And I'm going to end your reading. I'm going to take some angel answer cards for you, my darlings. Okay. Let's see what your guardian angels want to tell you before I say goodbye to you for today. Love you and leave you. Now. Don't forget to go to my channel, watch all your individual sign readings, as well as my many free card readings. I post something every day. And especially your relationship and career reading that I post one of each every single week. So that you always get, there's a flow of information from the universe to me, to you. Is somebody you're scared? that they may lose their job. It's not set in stone. It's not. And if they're trying to steal something from you, okay, let me tell you, you're ready. You know for what? It's perfect timing, success. You know, and you see this card, you're ready. You're ready to take that mantle. Let them try to steal. There's somebody creating some kind of a invalid is what I'm hearing, competition. There's no need. But they're creating this. Now, this, the face of the person who's creating this is not the real person. There is a somebody behind puppeteer pulling the strings. You know, but you are ready. It's happening in divine timing. It's time for you to take stage, center stage in your career, in whatever capacity that may mean for you. The spotlight is on you and you are being groomed for success. Wow. I love this energy for you. Capitalize on this. And even if the shadow side starts to play out, remember, it can be flipped. We live in a world of duality. There may be dark, but there is light. You need to be able to flip that. And that's what tarot, that's what astrology is supposed to deliver to you. Okay? When something is playing out, which is not good, it's all right. 
it's going to flip, my friends. And that's when you are going to jump right in and claim it. So if you are scared by tarot or by astrology, you have subscribed to wrong channels. My intention is to give you messages, good, bad, or ugly. I don't care. Whatever shows up, I deliver it to you with the clear understanding that the power is with you. How? When something starts to play out, which is not so savory, you know, I've given you that message. Now you can deal with it and minimize your damages. And do most importantly, if you so choose, my friends, you can avoid it totally. Bypass it. So the power is always with you. So with this, I'm going to close. I've set intentions throughout this reading for you to receive opportunities for abundance, money, growth, everything that you desire in your career and your finances. Claim it. I'll be back very soon with another love message, with another career message, or with your individual zodiac sign messages, with the three card reading, something for sure. Until then, from my Anahata to your Anahata, I'm sending you love, light and blessings. Yeah. Namaste. Bye.